Welcome back to DS Trucks. In today's video, I want to talk about how I would spec a 2021 F450 for my own personal use. If you follow the channel, you know that we just picked up a power boost for the wife. And I have to say, I am in love with her truck, but it's a little hard because she always needs her truck. She refuses to drive a Super Duty in the interim to let me video her truck more. She really doesn't want to drive the 450 or the 250, which has been kind of an issue. You know, she doesn't want to take the F450. So maybe we should take her in the F450 and let her learn how to drive it and see if she really does hate it. She really hasn't even tried it. And I've had the truck for a year and she still hasn't tried driving the F450. But how would I configure a power boost? How would I configure a 2021 Power Boost F-150? Because the way I see it, I would get the Power Boost F-150. I'm not really even interested in the Lightning F-150 quite as much as I am interested in the Power Boost. Because, you know, the Lightning's great, but I don't want to plug my car in when I get home. I just don't want to do that. I love that I can actually power my house with the truck compared to powering the truck with the house. I, I'm not into that. I'm more into powering the truck. In the event of a power outage, I want to be able to power the house. And I know the F-150 uh, all electric can power your house as well, but I don't want to. I want to be able to fill it up with gas and have power no matter what. So anyway, how, how would I configure a 2021 Power Boost? Number one, crew cab. Gotta have the crew cab. Follow the channel and you know we've, had, we've got two kids. So we gotta have a crew cab. Eight foot bed. I would definitely do an eight foot bed, but you can't. You have to do a six and a half foot bed with the crew cab. So we start there. Now, trim level. XL, XLT, or Lariat. Boom. I'm gonna go Lariat. The reason I'm going Lariat is because of four-wheel drive auto, memory seats. That's pretty much the reason. I, I don't feel like the leather is all that big of a deal. I know the leather is nicer in these 21s, but it's not a huge deal to have leather. But <laughs> memory seats is great. When you're working as much as me, I like, I like to program all three seats. Number one is the wife, number two is me, and number three is me reclined all the way to get work done. So, number one, that's why I'm going there. Um, now, paint. Paint's a tough one. There's two colors that I like. I like magnetic and I like iconic silver. Now, they've gotten rid of magnetic and they call it something else now, carbonized gray. So would I do carbonized gray or would I do iconic silver? I think I'm going carbonized gray this time around. And tribute to the magnetic truck that I had before and just you know I've guys I got three iconic silver trucks right now between my truck my two trucks and my wife's truck well the f-250 is actually ingot silver which is very similar to iconic silver so it honestly in real life it would go either way iconic silver or carbonized gray iconic silver is a very good color for business but the carbonized gray, don't get me wrong, it is better. It's a better color, it's more aggressive. But for business, it's just more, I don't know, inviting. Now, as far as trim and all that, should we go crazy and spend $7,000 on the top level? So when it comes to like the top trim in the Lariat, uh, I feel like it gets real expensive for what you get. Rain sensing wipers, eh, not a huge fan of that. Um, it is a tough one. The mid gives you the sound system, a door opener. I think I might be going mid. For look, I mean, look how much more the high is. The high is, it's like, ugh, it's, it's, it's incredibly expensive. Co-pilot 2.0, an intelligent. My wife has that on her, um, she has that on her XLT. Navigation. I mean, I don't know what standard features. Where are the optional features? Dual 
temperature, 12 inch, pre-collision, ambient. I mean, a lot of the stuff my wife has on her XLT. So I don't know. I think I'm going with the mid. This is a tough decision though, mid or high. I honestly think I'm going mid this time and not high. Now, if you lose, I mean, heated steering wheels, guys, I like my heated steering wheels, but I don't know. I don't even know. It's weird. Like there's so many features in your mid and high. It's almost like you don't know until you get the vehicle. And when you go high, for me personally, I'll be in the high lariat and there's stuff I'm figuring out like a year later because I'm not using all that stuff. So we'll go mid. When you go mid, it looks like you have to still add your 360 camera after the fact. The hitch, the 502A. So what is that? It says equipment 502A, $1,500 discount. What is that? Included when you have 502A. So if you go 502A, you can add a discount later. To see the site. The site's a little confusing. I guess you can add a 1500 discount if you select this. So I guess if you're going through the order process, you're scrolling down, and all of a sudden you see a $1,500 discount after the fact. After the fact, you see a $1,500 discount in order to add it. So you're thinking, no, I'm not getting it. And then you're like, well, we'll give you $1,500 off. Like, what are you saying here? You're going to give me $1,500 off now? Okay. Hmm. Very confusing. So let's say, let's say I select high. Now my prices went up and then I just, do I, am I automatically selecting the discount? Like what's going on here? So there's a $500 discount that I could click now. So it's weird. It's just changing how it looks. Very confusing. I don't like that. So yeah, there it is. The $1,500 discount. So <laughs> how confusing is it to add a $1,500 discount and have it priced at 69.2, but then just why not just have it priced where it's priced? Anyway, still going mid. Still going mid, still getting the Bang & Olsen uh, sound system. Now, one thing that might be different between the mid and the high is when you look at the interior on the mid, and then let's click high and see how the interior looks. Now this is how the interior looks high. So you got the center console and everything. Dang, this is confusing. That is just so much. So yeah, let's just leave it high so our interior looks right. You know, I want the full center console and all that. Now, here's another catch. This shifter in this truck is horrible. That might be the only way to be in your lariat with the shifter being column shifter. So it's again. So like when you go mid, now you've got a column shifter, which I'm a fan of a column shifter. Now you've got this bench in the front and not your, and you don't have your big center console. So that's a tough one, guys. Um, let's go with the mid right now because it's cheaper and we can add that later. So Ford 2.0, so that's another thing you'd have to add, which is more money. FX4 off-road, no. Larry, no. Chrome appearance, no. Sport appearance. We definitely want to have the sport appearance. The Larry Sport appearance package. I'm saying yes. Which gives you some pretty cool stuff now. Larry Sports now, look at that interior, man. Now that's what I'm talking about. Aside from the shifter, which you can't change. Can't change that shifter. But uh, max towing, definitely need that. Can we do it? Um, as of right now, it's making me add 5.0, which I'm gonna say no right now. We're gonna add a towing package, but um, we need to add our power boost, I think, first. And I think this is the trailer tow package that you get with the power boost, not the max. Because the max standard unlimited available on XLT trimmer and platinum. Seven pin wire harness with a four flat adapter. Um, pro trailer backup assist. Not, in not included on the XL though, trailer brake LED so yeah you can't get the big boy 
Max to uh, Trailer Tow Package, which is available with the 3.5. It is available with the hybrid, the Max Tow. For two, because I do, because I've got that on my wife's truck. So a heavy duty payload package. Yeah, that's what I want. That's the one I want. This is, let's say guys, this is a, uh, that's the one I want. But yeah, that interior is beautiful. Just gotta have that that wonky shifter that they come out with. Powertrain. All right, straight to the Power Boost Full Hybrid. Straight, I mean, absolutely. And we're still cheaper than my wife's truck. I don't think I have four wheel drive yet. That's why um, there's the issue. We gotta have four wheel drive. Now we're, so as we sit now, we're like 3000 more than my wife's truck. I'm thinking, I mean, I'm wondering if she would like this more than what she's got. I mean, look at that interior. Um, man, that's nice. Oof. And then you see the guy, he's out looking at the snow. Oof. He's just sitting out there looking at snow and uh, the, 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 the river. <laughs> Something I would be doing. All right, exterior. What are we doing for exterior? Wait, did I finish? Did I get everything I want to get in the powertrain? There's a bigger inverter, right? Maybe that's in the exterior, interior. I don't know where that's at. All right, here's the exterior rims. Those rims don't look bad. Am I doing those rims or am I paying $1,300? $1,300 for some bigger rims. Tough one. Uh, let's get the bigger wheels. Um... 2.4 kilowatt outlet, 2,000. Why do I have to pay more for less power? I wonder why. Does it give, what does that give you? Not available on diesel, 3.5 full hybrid. Okay, so this one gives you 2,000 kilowatts of onboard power with any in other engine option. That's sweet. That's pretty sweet. I mean, I wonder if that equipment, so that gives you that two kilowatt. So it gives you some good power with even a 5.0. It says 5.0 is not available with the 3.5 either. No, you can get this with, uh, you can't get it with a diesel, but you can get it with a 3.5 or 5.0. Not the 3.3 V6 or the three liter diesel. Interesting, very interesting. So you can get some onboard power, some pro onboard power with a normal engine. Very, very cool. But we're going with the 7.2. And that's something that I think a lot of people probably don't know, I didn't know. You can actually get 2,000 kilowatts. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's like a 2,000 watt inverter maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I don't know. Active parking, is that more money? Like what, why wouldn't I do that? So you've gotta get the high lariat. We're trying to avoid that that fee. We're trying to avoid that big high lariat fee. A bed divider, no. Any of this stuff means, you know, bed divider or stuff like that. All that extra stuff might delay your shipping. Getting these extra items. Bed, bed tray, that might actually deny, or uh, that might make your shipping take a little longer. Um, all these extra spray and bed liners from Ford, th those might make your uh, shipping. Being in Dearborn, knowing that the Mod Center, they're using that for other purposes right now. Engine block heater, I'm gonna go with that. So think about this, you got a power boost, you've got an engine block heater. One of the downfalls of the winter time is keeping that engine warm. What if you plugged your power boost right into your engine block heater? Um, probably not recommended from Ford, but you know me. What is that? What is? So a continuously controlled damping, what the heck is continuously controlled damping? So this is stuff that as you're going through the process, you're looking at some of these features and you're clicking them and you can't add them until you add the full Lariat High. So they're getting you into that Lariat High. Standard on Limited, available on Lariat, on Lariat High, King Ranch and High Platinum requires onboard scale with smart hitch. So 
you start thinking about all these features like onboard scale, smart hitch, all that, that stuff's cool if you're gonna lease your truck. If you're gonna lease your truck and maybe buy the truck, it starts being questionable. If you're gonna buy your truck and you're gonna keep this truck for a long time, I would be a little nervous to have uh, scales and things like that on your truck because unless you live in some you know, down south and there's no corrosion. I can't see corrosion when you have, when your truck's weighing your loads and things like that. What if those little scales start to rust and who knows? All that technology, if you're buying your truck, can be questionable because how long is that stuff gonna last? Extended range 36 gallon tank. Don't think you can get that with the power boost. We'll try. Nope, you gotta have a 5.0 or 3.5 in order to get a 36 gallon tank. And that's nice to have, I had it, but Hopefully with a power boost, you don't need it. All right, LED lighting. So looking at the Lariat High, I think with that package, one of the cool features that you do miss out on is the headlights that apparently corner around turns. Um, that's something new. I've been kind of looking into that. Again, for if someone's gonna buy their truck and own it for a really long time, I'd be a little nervous to have headlights that turn. But for someone who's leasing, you know, leasing high, high trim level trucks is expensive. But buying them and having to deal with stuff like that failing down the road, I don't know, it's questionable. Power tailgate. So power tailgate, again, again, you gotta be in a Lariat High to get that. And it's another $700. But it, I believe that's the one that um, I believe that's the one that goes up and down and goes up by itself. Again, I I mean I don't want to get into a Lariat High to get the tailgate to close on its own. Skid plates, four wheel drive only. Can we do skid plates with the power boost? Looks like we might be able to. I don't see a price here. Let's you do it. That's a Raptor skid plate. I don't know if that's the skid plate that you get when you look at that image. But it says it's heavy duty, standard on trimmer, available on XL, FX4, heavy duty skid plate, standard on Raptor. So I'm guessing you get Raptor skid plates. That'd be cool. I mean, not cool for service because look what you got to do for service. You got to take this metal plate off. But yeah, if you can get a Raptor skid plate, I'm all for it. Tire upgrades, I don't believe I can mess with the tires. Tailgate with work surface for $430. For me, personally, I think I'm doing it, guys. It's a neat little tailgate. We're at $65,000. That's not that much more money than my old F-150 um, that I had before my 450. So, again, added accessories. This is a cool tailgate, the one with the lock on it right there. Cool tailgate, but are you gonna wait extra long because you ordered that, um, I'm sorry, bed cover? Probably gonna wait extra long when you order a bed cover, I think. Wheel locks, wheel liners. Again, I wouldn't order wheel liners right now. Uh, Two-tone paint, no. Powerful mirrors, towing mirrors, 100% need towing mirrors. How are we gonna do, is it gonna do it? Is it gonna let us do it? Please don't make me, boom, got tow mirrors. Please don't, I was gonna say, please don't make me take off the power boost in order to get tow mirrors. Uh, extended running boards, $1,000. No, I'm not paying $1,000 for that. I don't think, am I? Do I wanna pay $1,000 for some running boards that are extended? Just give me power. Probably have to get the Lariat high in order to get power. What does that even look like? You gotta get, you gotta take off the wheels. So no, I'm not taking off my wheels. Oh, because they're chrome. So you gotta have a chrome package, okay. Um, power deployable, probably have to be in Lariat high. Yep, can't get power deployable until you're in uh, and then Lariat high. 3.73 electronic locking. You can't get a limited slip. There, you can get a 3.31 limited slip. That's better, but you can't get a 3.73 limited slip. Limited slips, limited slip rear ends are awesome. 
but yeah beautiful beautiful truck look how nice the interior is man this is this is very tempting to just sell off my 450 and be in the power boost f-150 very tempting you can lease these you can do 24 months if you want but 24 months looks like it's more this isn't really how it would lease it would be different than than how it looks here um yeah that that's pretty cool let's put some money down too let's put like three thousand three thousand down get the payment down to 500 a month tempting guys it's a lot cheaper than a 450. now i could do that and i could turn in my 6.2 i could get two new trucks i could turn in the 6.2 get a 7.3 and i could turn in the 450 or sell it whatever and get this it's doable I, i'm I'm gonna miss the towing, obviously, but this is a cool truck, guys. This is a cool truck. Maybe I'd sell my dump trailer and get one a little bit smaller because I got a big 16 footer, with like 700 pounds of tongue weight empty on the truck. So that dump trailer is perfect for the 450. That dump trailer is right up the alley for the 450. But I don't know. This is a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper per month. And I really enjoy the power boost technology, guys. I really do. But anyway, this video is like 20 minutes long. Uh, Got to wrap it up. This is DS Trucks. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sean. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this power boost build. Here is the exterior. The interior is beautiful. It's a sport appearance. The new sport appearance package is absolutely beautiful. But anyway, my name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. See you guys in the next video. Over and out. Bye.